Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to My Happy Place. So guys, for today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a kit that I've had in my stash for quite a while now, probably about two years. And I must say this image is just one of my absolute favorites and I don't know why I haven't worked on it up until now but anyway this is the unboxing for today this is rococo dream by ennis guerrero it's a square diamond painting in the size 56 centimeters by 76 centimeters i mean just look at that image isn't she just stunning oh this just something about this one it is so dark but yet it's not so dark I mean, it's dark art, but she just looks amazing. I love the color palette in this one with all the grays and blacks and then these light pinks that seem to go through it. So I can't wait to work on it. Don't know why I took so long, but I am going to be kitting this one up shortly because I'm going to use it for an event in January. So that's why I've decided to unbox it today. But before I get actually into the unboxing itself, let me just tell you a few things about the box. Firstly, with Diamond Art Club, how you know whether the drills are squares or rounds is because the box very clearly says that. There is a blue square on the front and it says square diamonds. On the side of the box, depending on how you store your box or your kits, you'll see that also says square diamonds. So... Very easy to tell. Another thing I should tell you about is on this side of the box, you will see that there's a code here to unlock a 10% discount. So just remember that. So basically that's all I think I'm going to say about the box. What I'm going to do now is what I always do. I'm actually going to go off camera. I'm going to open the box. I'm going to put everything on the table and then I'll be back just so that you don't have to sit through all of that. So I will see you in one second. Okay gang, well welcome on back. On the screen now you will see basically the contents of this kit. So let me just start off by saying, which I think I did already say in my introduction, that I bought this kit, kit plus minus two years ago. So this kit is not going to have the newer toolkit and all of that. But the rest of the contents pretty much stay the same. So let's have a very quick look. So firstly, you obviously have your pack of drills. What's important to note here is that the drills are labeled with the name of the canvas. So if you want to store your drills separately, you're able to do that. Um, we'll take a closer look at the drills just now. But obviously lots of grays, whites, blacks, and then just these pops of pink that I can see here and there. But... Let's put that aside for now. We'll have a look at that later. Then what you have is you have your step-by-step -step instruction manual. So again, this is the old version of this. There's actually a thank you note in here as well. And there is a discount code on this side of the pamphlet as well. Um, then you have your little sticker. Now this one is used pretty much by people to put it onto their their box, the side of their box, that's what I use it for. And um, then I'm able to see which image this is based on how I store my box. I store my box in a certain way that I actually use this sticker on the top of the box. So that's what this sticker can be used for. Then you have your actual sticker sheet. There you have the details of the canvas. It gives you the um, details in terms of whether it's a square or a round, the size of it and so on. And then there is the name of the kit and the artist over there. And then obviously this big sticker which you can use in your logbook which shows the image. Oh, I just love this one. Okay, then over here you have your actual sticker sheet. This one you can see has 29 colors. Now, because this is an older kit, unfortunately, these stickers are not pre-cut. You can see here, nothing comes loose. So I will have to cut these myself. And um, if you do have any older kits in your stash, then that is, this is going to be, you know, what you receive. The newer kits, all of these stickers are actually a little bit smaller and they are pre-cut. 
So, like I said, this kit comes with a total of 29 colors and it has only one AB. So, how do I know that? Well, with Diamond Art Club, any numbers under 150 are ABs. So, in this kit, there is only one and that's the number 127. And then lastly, you have the toolkit. This is the old toolkit. How do I know that? Well, because of the color of the bag. The older kits come in this sort of see-through, opaque bag. The newer kits come in a solid yellow type bag. I'm actually not going to unpack this toolkit. Most of you guys are familiar with the toolkits. To any of you who aren't, Please check out any of my other Diamond Art Club unboxings where I will go through the toolkit. Um, because this isn't the new toolkit, it's not going to include washi tape um, and it's not going to include a cover minder. And I know that those are the things that people like to see. So basically in this bag, you're going to get a pen, you're going to get a squishy that you put on your pen. Because it's a square, you're going to get tweezers, you're going to get a tray, there's a tray in there, there's some heart shaped wax and there are some extra baggies for you to store your drills in. So that is basically the toolkit. Now for the main event. So this canvas is now lying flat on my table. In order to get it to lie, to lie flat what I basically did is I rolled it backwards like this. So you are able to do this with Diamond Art Club canvases because they are poured glue. So you won't damage the canvas and it's perfectly fine to roll it back. So that is what I did to get it to lie flat and let's have a look at the image. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so I am busy panning over it because obviously it's not... You know, you're not going to see the whole thing in screen. So let me just pan up. You know, I'm pulling the canvas up so that you can have a look at it. And then we will have a look at some of the, the details more closely. Oh gosh, I am so excited to work on this one. This one is just going to be absolutely stunning. So what I think I'm going to do is just try and turn it at an angle. You might just be able to see and get a feel for more of it like this so let me perhaps just leave it like this for now um guys this one is going to be wow it's going to come out so nicely and the fact that it's only got 29 colors to me is just perfect um i can see as i look at this piece that there are some areas of heavy color blocking <laughs> and well actually i should say on this side of the canvas over here there are areas of heavy color blocking, the black and some of these browns or whatever they are going to be. But then if we go to this side, if you have a look at her face and her hair, oh my gosh, this is confetti, confetti, confetti. <laughs> is this actually, what is this in her hair? Is this a little carousel? I'm going to have a look. Let's have a look at this. Oh my gosh, it is too. Do you know that I've never even noticed that? Have a look at that. Oh, that is just stunning in her hair. She's obviously got her hair all around here. There are roses and flowers in her hair. And then here is a carousel. Oh my gosh, I only noticed that by looking at the image. Um, you know, the, the, the canvas itself. And then we can see, let's just look at the other detail here and then we'll look at it on the canvas itself. Here is a crow wearing a crown. There are some skulls. Well, it's like a teddy bear almost with a skull for a head. There's a rose with black thorns. There's another skull type of thing there. Oh yes, totally, totally up my alley. Okay, so... Before we get into any more details like that, let's just have a general chat about the canvas. So let me turn it back this way, I think, to show you. Diamond Art Club canvases will have a legend in the top left. They also have another legend in the bottom right, which you can see over here. Um, 
Details of the canvas are always in the bottom left. So there you will have a thumbnail uh, image of the canvas, the name, the size, who the artist is, etc. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. There you will have information about the social media accounts. And on the right of the canvas here is the lifetime warranty. Right, so as I had already mentioned, as you can see, it's 29 colors with a total of one AB. Uh, an AB drill is an Aurora Borealis drill. It is a drill that has been given an extra shimmery and shiny coating. So it will shimmer and shine a bit more than the rest of the drills. Right, symbol clarity. Guys, I don't really even know that there's much I must say about Symbol Clarity. I mean, Diamond Art Club has some of the clearest and best symbols ever. So if we maybe just pick up this side of the canvas, you can see how clear these symbols are. The black, or what's going to be the black, the three tens, which is the, the black square with the white dot. Let's have a look at the confetti areas here. Again, I'm hoping you can see there how clear these symbols are. I mean, you can see the ton of confetti here. I'm sure you can see that. But the point being, these symbols are perfectly clear. You won't need a light pad. I tend to use a light pad, but that's just because it's habit. I have always used a light pad, and I do find that it's very helpful when diamond painting to, to have a light pad on. But those of you that don't use light pads won't need to worry about it specifically with this canvas. Um, as I mentioned, this canvas is poured glue, which means you can move the canvas around, you can hang it over your easel, you can roll it backwards, you are not going to damage it, so don't worry about that. On to the actual image and the rendering. Well, I think it looks stunning. I mean, as I said before, it was only when I unrolled the canvas that I actually noticed that there was this carousel in her hair. So that just shows that the rendering is actually superb. I love her eyes. Her eyes and the darkness around her eyes, I think, are going to be stunning. The crow looks very clear to me. If we pan further down, everything looks clear. This is this... Well, I call him a teddy bear, but <laughs> he's a skull bear. I mean, he's perfectly clear. The rose is perfectly clear. So, yes, can't, can't fault the rendering. Even on this side, here's another teddy bear with a skull, as we mentioned, almost like a bunny, almost. Her hand with its rings on it. So all in all, I cannot fault anything on the rendering. I'm just having a quick look as to where these ABs will be. There's only one AB, as I said, and it's the number 127. Okay, so I can see it here, and I can see it here. I can also see it a little bit in her face. Now, that is unusual for Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club don't tend to put or use ABs in skin tones, so I'm sure this is just because it's an older kit. And then up here in her hair, I can see it a bit here in the flowers, in the roses. So that pretty much shows where the ABs are going to be. There's no AB really. Okay, here we go in some of this ribbon that's hanging down here. There's some AB. But there's nothing really in the background and nothing really in this section. So I think that pretty much gives you a good idea of this image and the rendering and the quality of the symbols. I don't think there's much else that I can say about that at this stage. So I think for now, um, let's move on to having a look at the drills. I'm not going to go specifically through each and every drill and tell you what DMC number it is, but I'm just going to pass them across the camera here so that you can get a feel yourself for the type of color palette that is in this one. So give me a second to unpack the drills and I'll be back. Okay, so these drills are in quite long strands, um, and so I've tried to lay them out here as best I could, but let me actually just pull them up to the camera and show you. So in this first strand, we have a lot of grays. That's a dark gray into the lighter grays. This is the 318. There are quite a few bags of that. Four bags of the 318. 
Then we get a pink color, some more gray. Then we get the 414, which is also a, a gray color, a pinky color, the 3371, which is a very dark brown. There's four bags of that. And then your 3799, which is a gray color. Oh, and then here are some ABs. That's the 127. Hopefully you can see that there. That's like a flesh color, which would explain why they've used some of this in her skin tone, in her face. That's a very pretty AB. And then some more grays. Whoops. Ending with that neutral white, whitish color. So let's move those aside. Then in this strand we have a lot of black. So this is the 310, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bags of 310, and then some of this light, very light grey colour, which is the 415, there are 3 bags of that. And then in the last strand, there are some white slash beigey colours. Then we get some more browns, that's the 938, two bags of that, some more brown being the 779, and then just some lighter colors here. Some more pink, very few of those. You can see some of these packets have very few drills in them. There's a purple, the 550. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. Some more browns. And then these last three, uh, three bags are brownish, beigey, well not beige, but browny sort of colors. So basically that's it for the drills. Um, like I said, there are only 29 colors. And the majority of the colors, you know, the bags that have a lot of colors are, are the three tens, some of the browns, and yes, the more neutral, neutral colors. So anyway, gang, hopefully this video has tempted you to go and check out this canvas. I think when I checked last, this canvas was out of stock, but it isn't discontinued and it isn't a limited edition. So I'm sure it will be coming back at some stage. On that note, I will put a link below to this canvas on the Diamond Art Club website. So you can click on the link below and it will take you straight there. And then you can always just click on the notification icon to be notified when it comes back into stock. So like I said, this one I will be working on primarily in January. So there should be a review up on my channel sometime in Feb. So keep your eyes on my channel for that. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the content, if you love seeing unboxings and post reviews, then please subscribe to my channel. I would love to interact with you guys some more on here. Other than that, I hope you have all had or are busy having a marvelous holiday season and that you're getting lots of diamond painting in. Happy diamond painting, friends. Bye.